Hello, friends. Um, I just have a couple of uh, cleanings to do um, for uh, for a customer. Um, they had wanted to have some stuff cleaned and pressed and uh, sent off to be graded. Um, and then they also had some things that after we kind of uh, after I got to take a look at the books and, and talk to them about them a little bit, um, you know, we decided. Uh, what is best for for him to have, uh, you know, fully cleaned and pressed and detailed versus what should be graded and things like that, just based upon what sort of his collecting needs are. Um, the ones that were to be graded are already they're out. They're they're in the process of being graded and will hopefully be back soon. Um, but uh, they also had. Um, uh, uh, two books that uh, he had wanted to have just um, clean, detailed, and pressed, and one um, that is just going to be pressed. So it's a pair of the ones that to be to be all detailed, or a pair of Green Lanterns, um, number forty and was it fifty-two? Yeah, and a 52. So I'm um, just going to do those here today. Um, uh, be careful with this one. These, you can see on the, you can't as well on that, that side. Um, these staples, they, they don't look super great. Obviously, you can see some of the uh, let me get through here. You can see where the paper is kind of away there, um, but they're they're actually the, the the cover is a lot more attached than what you think it would with the the staples looking this like like this, um, but still obviously obviously want to be mindful of that. Um, Especially with these older books, are things you always have to uh, uh, check uh, before you uh, start working on them. Uh, and, and you know, in, in my case, when uh, when it comes to talking with customers and, and what what they want to have done, I, you know, I, I look at look at that not before I start working on it, but, but before we even you know talk about what what to do. Um, uh, I know there was. Uh, um, one of the uh, books that did get sent out to get graded, um, I didn't. I didn't do any work, like any uh, aside from pressing it. I pressed it. Um, I didn't do any cleaning work or anything on it because it was just too. I just. I told him I was like, "There's. It's too frail. It's too frail. There's no way that." Uh, um, it's worth the risk to do anything with this book with the way that it, that it, that it was. Um, so if you are thinking about doing cleaning and pressing and all that, um, be sure to think of that. Uh, you want this.
So yeah, if you're thinking about getting into this sort of thing, uh, don't just jump right into working on a book. Get to know what uh, what you can and can't do on a book um, based upon things like condition. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of work on these, um, and uh, the only thing that I really have to talk about is it's kind of it's kind of meta, kind of just talking about the channel and I guess social media presence and all that. Um, So I'm I'm gonna try um, I'm not gonna say format changes, um, but on the YouTube channel, try some different things. Um, you know, I, I when I started making YouTube videos, I was obviously like, very new to doing that. I, I never had a channel before. I obviously watched a lot of YouTube and, and followed people and stuff. Um, and I tried I, th I thought I was gonna try something a little bit different. Um, where, you know, I, I have, I have, uh, my channel, but with, with on the channel, there are basically these shows, right? Um, because I don't know, it, it's, it's probably a lot of it's coming from the, the programmer in me, um, where I try to, when I, when I'm, uh, doing things digitally I'm, I'm trying to emulate real world right so if if, if you have a YouTube channel uh, or I guess I'm, I'm thinking more of a of a, uh, a TV station or yeah you know, a, a channel right um, where a channel isn't just the same thing over and over again it has shows it has different shows right so I was kind of taking that approach um, which I, I don't I don't really think is a standard approach that people take on YouTube, but I, I thought it'd be fun. You know, I have my different shows that are named different things. You know, you got your Pressing Matters, your TGIW, um, uh, Willie Lumpkin Delivers, and, and things like that. And they each have their own sort of numbering, you know, episode one, two, three, four. So. Um, and they, you know, they, they'd have a, like a subtitle, you know, episode two, and then something that, you know, kind of when you watch like, you know, shows in the 80s or whatever, you know, it was like, this is an episode of this show, and the episode is called this. Um, I, and I, I still like that idea. Um, but I don't think that it really works for someone who is sort of up and coming. Uh, well, I'm, I'm not going to say that I'm up and coming. I'll, I'll say that, it, that someone that has a small channel uh, like I do. Um, uh, because so much of the I, I, you know, I, I, I did some thinking on this and uh, was thinking, you know, if, if I if if I were searching around YouTube um, and stumbled upon a, a, just a video that was called TGIW episode 20. If I don't know what TGIW is, then I have no idea what that is. You know, in, in my case, TIGIW is my thank God it's Wednesday. It's what I do for um, New Comic Day. You look at other YouTubers who do New Comic Day stuff and their video is called like New Comic Day <laughs> and then the date or something. It's very clear as to what it is. Um, mine is not. Um, now, if I was established and had tens of thousands of viewers or something like that and so people aren't stumbling upon it. They're like, oh, yeah, I want to tune in for TGIW or, you know, a new episode of this is out. So, and I know what it is, so I'll go, I'll go do it. Um, but I, that's, that's not, 
where I'm at, and I doubt it's where I'll ever be at. Um, I I was thinking too far ahead of like th this is this is what I would like a channel to be, um, without thinking too much of is is it something that is really viable for someone in my situation, um, which has proven it to be that it's it's not. Um, I I sort of expected to have um, a little more traction than I have now. Um, because I, I mean, I'm obviously biased, but I think my content is, is, and not that I do it for the, the likes or the views or the whatever, or to get monetized or anything. I, I doubt that would ever happen. Um, but I do it because I enjoy doing it. But at the same time, part of my enjoyment is the thought that there are other people out there enjoying it. Um, and... It takes people to do that, right? I need people watching in order for that to, to be true. Um, so, again, I, I, I still like these ideas of, oh, and they also, my, my placards, right? My, my thumbnails, uh, aside from TGIW, they're all very like, it's this yellow with the name of it and the episode uh, and an image or something. Um, I was I was kind of hoping to go for this sort of standardized feel. So if you, if you look at my videos on my channel, they all kind of have a, a unify, a visually unifying sort of experience to them. Um, but, and I, I'm not, um, you know, a Photoshop wizard uh, they obviously look very raw. Um, I probably could take more time to make those look better. Um, I, I will be the first to admit that I kind of rushed through those just to get them done with and up, the, the, the thumbnails, um, that is. Uh, just because, it, you know, it's, it takes time. It takes a lot of time. Um, and I have a lot of uh, a lot of other stuff going on um, and it, you know if, if you if you watch um, a lot of my videos you, you know the, the the stuff that I do as content is time-consuming not just the videos but right uh, what I'm doing now this is time-consuming um, and there's a lot of stuff that goes on um, off-camera with this um, you know, obviously, like dealing with customers and stuff like that is all off camera. But the, you know, the actual you know, uh, pressing and, and um, checking up on the on the books and stuff like that. And there's a lot that goes into it, uh, time wise. Um, I read a lot. Right for if you watch my TGIWs and um, especially the ones you may have watched recently, where I'm reading a lot of old you know back issues. Um, I'm, I'm reading like 40, 50 books a week. That takes a lot of time. Uh, and and uh, I, I take a lot of time when I read comics. I, I, I read them slowly. Uh, I don't just jam through them. I like to enjoy them. Um, but it, it takes a heck of a lot of time to do that. Um, time I, I find is better spent towards that, which creates content rather than spending hours on creating a thumbnail for a video. That's, that's kind of where I'm going with that. Um, yeah, white's cleaning up pretty good. About as good as I could expect. Probably can't see it very well on the, the video, but I'll have, I'll have before and after pictures on uh, Facebook, Instagram, or whatever. Which is another thing I need to talk about, uh, but anyway, uh, so and I, I, I still like the idea of these shows. Um, I'm just uh, just I even if it is to my own detriment, I because this is mostly for me. I like the idea of those shows and those titles. I like TGIW. I like pressing matters. I like um, 
I can't remember names of my own. Willie Lumpkin delivers and, and uh, editor and chef, uh, which there are plans for another one of those in the coming weeks. Uh, by the way, uh, I'm just going to be changing the way that they're kind of presented to those that are searching for videos, not those that are coming to my channel because they know where I'm at and they want to see what I have, but those that might stumble across a video from a search or a suggestion to them or something like that. Uh, so I'm no longer going to do like the, the yellow placards, the yellow thumbnails, get, getting that white around Hal's butt all clean and he's sticking that out. Uh, this is where I got to be careful about these staples here. Um, sorry, I had a little bit of technical difficulties there. Um, but uh, as I was saying, uh, right after I was talking about Hal Jordan's butt, um, I'm, I'm planning on going more the route of, uh, for these thumbnails of, you know, not doing those placards or whatever, but just taking a shot of taking a frame from the video or um, posing for a frame in the video somewhere um, is those, you know, they're, they're, those seem to be more interesting probably. Um, uh, and then, uh, yeah, the the naming have the naming be a little more understandable for like what this is. It's it's new comics for this week, uh, and I'll put like still put TGIW in there somewhere or something. But um, just because like, I, I I still like the idea of those the shows on the channel, um, and I've already done that for. Some of the videos I just haven't you know, talked about it until now. Um, I'm a little more stubborn over on this side. Yeah, these these have a little bit deeper stains. That's not gonna. That's not gonna. They're not surface. They're not surface. Um, that's the most I want to do on that. Uh, um, so yeah and hopefully it will garner more views and interest by passerbys um, I, I'm also uh, going to have um, a new type of set of videos um, I've been doing a uh, I've been watching a lot of mystery boxes, mystery comic mystery box unopenings from uh, YouTubers, and uh, they're a lot of fun. Um, it's the idea of you you pay X amount of dollars depending upon what mystery box it is, and you don't know what's going to be in it. And there's usually some sort of grand prize or prizes you have a chance of winning, but other than that, it's just what's in there, um, with the hope that you get fun stuff that. Uh, and, and most of them usually guarantee that, I mean, that you're going to, the, the value is there of what you paid for it. Um, but if, you, if you're not familiar with mystery boxes and just go YouTube, comic book mystery boxes and you'll get all kinds. Uh, and, and there are different, different kinds. Um, so I've, I've been on a search for one that sort of speaks to me. Like a lot of these. Uh, so a really popular one, and and nothing, absolutely nothing against um, this this company, this product. Um, you know, I, I I know I know I have a customer that that uses this because they <laughs> they uh, give me their comics in a box that they they come in. It's uh, just as I feel like Peter. It's uh, uh, let's see if we can get on there. Um, that Spider Man booth. Um, they have a, a number of tiers of different boxes and I've watched a number of videos uh, on, on there and there's really, really cool stuff in there. Uh, but 
the, the, the value that you get from those is mostly in variant covers, um, which just isn't for me. That's just, I, that's just not my thing. Um, I, I still considered picking some up uh, of those boxes just because it looks like they do have some fun. Sometimes you get prints and you get autograph stuff and there's just really cool stuff in there. But um, it, it is, it leans very heavy towards variant covers, which again, I'm, I'm not, it's just, it's just not for me. Uh, but I, I do think they have a very good product. Um, and so, you know, so I've been, I've been searching for something that speaks more to my, my collecting type where I, I lean more towards vintage stuff or silver age and, and, and bronze age. Um, I, you know, I don't, I don't mind some, you know, interesting, uh, uh, more modern age stuff every once in a while, but I definitely lean towards if, if, if I spend money on that sort of thing, I would, I would like to see older stuff in it when I, when I open it. Um, so I, uh, um, I'm going to start, I, I found one, um, that is on the way. Um, and this is, it's a, it's a monthly subscription. Uh, so I'll have a video of opening those every month while I continue to subscribe to it. Um, and then I, I, I always keep my lookout for other mystery boxes that they may not be subscription. They may not be, uh, and there's a lot of people out there that, that, uh, like Instagram people, uh, users or, or just random people that they just, um, you know, just sort of these, these internet comic personalities that are just like, uh, Hey, I'm doing mystery boxes. Um, I'm making a hundred of them first come first serve. They're available while they last. It's not like, you can get this at any time, like it is with my Spider-Man booth, you know, um, or uh, that Spider-Man booth. So, um, but I've been watching a lot of those videos, and and um, the one that I landed on, it, it does lean towards older stuff, and I, I've watched a lot of videos of it, of people opening theirs, and I haven't seen one yet that I said I, I thought that I would be upset with, like, ugh, that wasn't worth the money paid. Um, some have definitely been better than others, but you know, that's always going to happen. Um, uh, so there's that. So the other thing is in regards to, as, as I, I mentioned, um, social media, uh, Instagram and, and uh, uh, Facebook, you know, the, the vast majority of my posts are, um, I posted a YouTube video. You know, that's, that's where most of my work goes for for this online sort of whatever whatever you want to call it. Um, and the point of that was, you know, was kind of the, 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 the Facebook and Instagram accounts were kind of, you know, uh, I don't want to say advertisers, but showcases for my business. Um, uh, and so was the YouTube channel, I guess. Uh, but it kind of tied all those things together. Um, and then, you know, I, I'd post like before and afters of stuff I'd worked on and, and things like that. So pictures of stuff uh, occasionally. Um, but I decided I'm, I'm going to use it more just so it's more interesting. Like it's seeing, seeing that I posted a YouTube video is not very interesting for Instagram, right? The idea of Instagram is to check out these pictures of things. And for Instagram, I take a, I get on my phone and I take a screenshot of the video playing and that's the picture. And then I say, Hey, go watch this video. I have it up. Uh, that's not really the spirit of Instagram though. Uh, um, and it, uh, I, I'm not an Instagram, a normal Instagram user. Um, like I, I, for my, my Titan comic pressing Instagram is the only Instagram I have. I didn't have a personal one. I still don't have a personal one. Um, so I, I need to be better about, um, you know, the, the, the form of media that I'm on Am I speaking to that? 
um, and an Instagram that, that that is a definite no. <laughs> I, I am not. Um, you know, I, I try doing fun things. I, I've done a couple things like guess that cover, like take a picture, a, a zoom in on a cover of something, and say, "Hey, can you guess what this is?" Um, I like doing things like that. Uh, but I'm going to do more themed, regular stuff. Um, I mean, it's mostly going to be stuff from my own personal collection, not related to my business. But man, I, I, I kind of am my business. Um, so I'm going to try to do um, these sort of like themed um, things. So there's there's content coming out on Facebook and uh, Instagram that's, that's based on the day, right? So... And I've done this a couple already. I, I did uh, Throwback Reading Thursday, uh, where I, I, I show some... This, this is the old stuff that I'm reading right now. And it was on, posted it on Thursday. So it was on Thursday. Throwback, because it's older stuff, and reading, because I am reading it. Um, and it just kind of gives a chance for me to kind of showcase, like, hey, this is kind of the fun stuff that's in my collection. Uh, this is what I'm reading right now. That sort of thing. Uh, you know what? I'm getting ahead of myself here, aren't I? I am getting ahead of myself. Um, I saw that white. And I'm like, oh, I just gotta, I just gotta clean it up. Uh, I got ahead of myself. Um, let's watch out for that there. The tear over here. Need to watch out for it as well. Um, Let's see. Then I also posted uh, on Friday, um, Friday firsts or f Friday firsts, yes. And so that's where I'll post like a picture of like a first appearance um, or an issue number one or something um, out of out of my collection. Um, tomorrow I didn't have anything for Saturday, but tomorrow I'm going to do Sundry Sunday. Uh, where that's just sort of the catch-all, right? A little bit of everything. It could be anything that I want. You know, there there might be something that I have that I could showcase that isn't something old that I'm reading. It's not something that is a first, but it's like, hey, it doesn't fit anywhere, so I'm putting it here. So sundry Sunday, um, and then um, I'm also going to do on Monday. Um, uh, Monday run day uh, where I show a full run of something yeah a, a full run of this where I'll, like, I'll show like the first issue and then stack the rest of the the run um, next ah, I did it again it's so hard for me when I, I talk and doing this I lose myself um, why is nothing feeling comfortable? Uh, so that way I'm, I'm posting sort of more, I don't know, the type of things you expect to see on Instagram, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's. That's really it. Um, so there's some changes coming. Some have already, already started doing, but um, I needed I needed to work on these books, and I, I was trying to think, of, what am I going to talk about while I work on these books? I need something to talk about. There's 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 nothing there's nothing about these books in particular that uh, I could talk about that I haven't talked about in other videos already, or you know whatever. So um, you know, I, I like to do these pressing matter videos and say, Hey, when you're, when you're doing this sort of work, this is, here's an example. So this, this, there's nothing, um, about these that, that, uh, um, that is, um, different than what I've, I've done before. You know, it's not nothing. Just typical silver age, typical silver age. Sides here. All the real work is in these. The ink. Um, 
yeah so i mean that's that's really it uh, uh I, I probably rambled a little bit longer than i had expected to um for the most part it was just going to be hey i'm going to work on these books join me on the journey if you want um, if you find if you find it interesting just to watch, or you find it relaxing, uh, if you're one of those ASMR people, um, which nothing against that, I I personally really enjoy those sort of relaxing videos that are for the, that ASMR experience. I don't really get ASMR, but I do like those videos. Um, I, I I find them relaxing at the very least. Uh, so if if that speaks to you in any way, then by all means, um, I'm probably done talking for the most part, and I'll just kind of let the video go. Um, so, thanks, thanks for hanging around and whatever, and like, comment, subscribe, all that. Um, let me let me know what you think of the upcoming changes I've talked about here. And, uh, yeah, take it easy.
This video was brought to you by Titan Comic Pressing. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Titan Comic Pressing LLC.